Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Comics Can't Communicate episode number two. All right, the previous episode, it was the start of the show and it was fantastic. The animation, uh, the story in itself, the characters, each and everything was so well done. It was nicely paced and it was a fantastic start. Um, I loved the show in itself and I knew it was like obviously like we all knew like the even though I've not read the manga I knew that the manga was fantastic it, like Komi has a great following and that's obviously because of a reason so the only concern that at least I had was whether the uh, animation can like you know like do it well do the adaptation well but it looks extremely good and it's it's fine you know like i have no complaints about it it's great and it was a fantastic start now obviously the thing that i was mostly surprised about in the previous episode was the animation i was not expecting i was expecting good animation i was not expecting so good animation it was literally one of the best animations and you know for a slice of life show and it was so great the vibrant colors each and everything the small little details that gave that they give attention to it was all over it was a fantastic animation job and uh, yeah that's it, it's great like whenever there's good animation like we know that like you know that the studio is giving attention giving like you know importance to the show and that's just great you know like i love when like you know like when like even though like i like we already knew like kumisan would have had a great animation like i at least knew because uh it has such a big following and like komisan is extremely popular so but i really was not expecting such good animation like it was great fantastic and obviously the story we kind of saw uh you know komi is a character who has communication disorder and he she cannot communicate she kind of like you know stutters and gets puzzled freezes up and tadano is a character who will help her get 100 or 99 more friends so that was the start of the journey let's see how it goes so without further ado let's get started this episode number two of comic can't communicate so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> Oh, look at just look at the animation my god what is this yeah that's what just because the skills may be lacking there you go you know this is like what can i say like at least for me this is also kind of the th oh my god oh this is the opening Oh! Oh! Oh, I thought... Wait. This is the first time we're hearing this, aren't we? Wow. No, no, we, we heard this in the previous episode as well. Wow. <laughs> I love her face. That those big eyes. Wow. Okay, that was that was good. Previously. Wow, this is a great way to actually recap this, you know, like this little montage. We're childhood friends.
Uh, yeah, it seems like it'll be very easy, but I don't think so. I don't think it'll be so easy. Let's see. What the? She's wearing a knight? Knight armor? Stand big. <laughs> Yamai-san? Is she sick, sick all, all the time? That's why Yamai-san? Yamai means sick, isn't it? Or, or maybe not. Leader of the stylish girls. What the? Om! <laughs> okay, Yamai, I understand. She's sick. <laughs> wow, this is great ASMR. She should start a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh my god. That girl is wearing a night suit. Okay, Yamai-san, I understand why her name is Yamai. She's kind of sick in a way. Um, wow. <laughs> yeah, he himself needs to... <laughs> okay. Whoa! What the hell? Uh, oh, this girl. We saw him in the opening. Osana? Okay, her name is Osana. Osana Naji? Wow, the... The word, the puns in this, not puns, but wordplay. Osana Jimmy, okay. Childhood friend. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, so she's a boy or a girl? Ambiguous gender. Tendency to lie. G what? <laughs> wow, he, he or she has a lot of friends. Wait, I'm still confused. Is that a boy or a girl? <laughs> what? Um, that's not how it works, as far as I know. Osana Jimmy's Osana Jimmy. <laughs> she will never for she, he's he's calling her as she. Wait, so what should I call her? Him or her? <laughs> yeah, it's a joke. Yeah, I I'll call her a she. Just like Tadano is doing. Okay, so she can be her f friend. She's everyone's friend. What? <laughs> Oh my god, the people are... 
Damn, the sound effects. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Damn, everyone's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Um <laughs> Yeah, for real. I'm sure she Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why is she sweating? What? Why? Isn't she supposed to be everyone's childhood friend? Um, why? Can we get a reason? Oh, oh my god. She... <laughs> yeah, why did she refuse? I, I don't expect that. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Everyone in this. Oh, wait, she did she tr try to be friends with her? Elementary school? What? Oh, it's just that she was perplexed, nothing else. She was just perplexed. <laughs> okay, that, that's her trauma, yeah. She got PTSD from Komi-san. Yeah, she gets PTSD. Sad. <laughs> what? Yeah, right. I don't think so. <laughs> what's what's she doing uh oh my god Still petrified with shock. Condition. What? Then what? Osana chan? Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Najimi. What? Wow. <laughs> All right, everyone's childhood friends friend. Okay, she knows everything about everyone She's not an assassin What's with the titles? Hmm <laughs> The way home Najimi's point of view, okay Oh, wow. Yeah, she, she actually needs a lot of... <laughs> oh no. No, she... 
is not Daijobu. The way they do the transitions and everything are really cool. Too nervous to look her in the eyes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> really wants to say no. <laughs> Giving up. Whoa. What the? Who the hell? Makun and Shichan. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Oh no. Is this like gonna confess or something? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, so. Okay, so he, he is a boy. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh no. What the? Was that some kind of. Oh! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on! Okay, this is going in the wrong direction. She just wants to return the key, I think. There you go. <laughs> I think she said you dropped this or something like that. No, she said something like, you dropped this. I think so. Wow. <laughs> there you go. You dropped this key. Uh. <laughs> There you go. Hmm. What? The, what? The, the way she laughs. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the, the way he laughs. Okay, so I should <laughs> a little jump. Okay, ninety eight more. <laughs> uh, yeah, give it to the police. <laughs> Her first errand. Lunch break. Okay. Hmm. For Najimi, this is natural. Oh, but not for Komi, I guess. Shivering before because of oh my god. You didn't even notice him. Oh boy. <laughs> wow, there's the ninja. Oh, then the night girl as well. Damn.
hand cream wow oh my god she'll get overwhelmed with this oh yeah 100 friends oh my god five five million wow Oh, uh, don't do that. <laughs> what the hell is that? Wait, won't the other people get mad at this? Shop is pretty close. Yeah, she needs more interaction. Yeah. <laughs> Training. Oh my god, the people are just wow. Three more lunch appointments. She's everyone's childhood friend, that's why. <laughs> Beard suspicious individuals. <laughs> wow, the mama's also like, yeah, don't look over there, just ignore him. Stand the bakes coffee. <laughs> She's trying to find the entrance. <laughs> oh, she needs a courage. Okay. Hmm. I wonder how she'll order. Damn. <laughs> oh my god, she leaves. And she enters again. What's with his hair? <laughs> the other one went inside. Um. <laughs> okay, she can just point. Uh, yeah, you know, she can just point. Personalize your drink. It's not there. Oh, so it's some. Oh, there you go. You need some high communication skills for these, you know? Wow, what? Pass a yearly and a half. What? <laughs> this guy started telling his backstory. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> That's definitely not what she wanted. Yeah. She knows it's wrong, but she'll take it. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Are Oh my god. Oh no. Yo guys run. Run. Everyone will try to kill you now. To sincerely apologize. This is bonus content. Okay. <laughs> Huh. Well. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Uh.
Okay, this is the first time we're hitting the ending. Wow. Uh, I was okay. Like, I don't know, like this animation is like movie quality animation. I'm really impressed with the animation. Wait, are, are we going to get more characters as she makes more friends in the last scene you know where we see tadano and uh, najimi sitting with komi now there are three of them so i'm guessing as uh, as the you know episodes go on and she makes more friends i think more character will start appearing in that last last scene of the ending i think so that's what's going to happen that'll be cool okay uh this was the second episode and all right, here we see Komi trying to make friends again and Tadano also trying to help. <laughs> Unfortunately, Tadano himself is quite bad at making friends and yeah, that's why <laughs> at the beginning uh, she goes to this. Okay, the, at the beginning we see these three girls that are talking. Uh, one is the girl called Yamai, the other is that girl wearing the light armor. And then there's another girl. Okay, now Yamai. I, uh, I, uh, Yamai, I think Yamai actually means some kind of sickness, isn't it? Just a sec. Let me just double check. Yamai, Yamai. Uh... <clears throat> I think so. Uh, as, like, as far as my <laughs> Japanese knowledge goes. Um... It means illness yeah illness or yeah okay not sickness but illness i think i said something like sick not sick sick and ill are kind of different in a way so illness in a way <laughs> in a way you can call her a little bit <laughs> yeah you know a little bit ill like you know in that sense the way she suddenly reacted she's like Oh, you don't dare try, like, you know, take her name. Like, she's, she, she's this, she's that. Just, like, call her Sama before, like, you know, like, mentioning her, all that stuff. And don't you dare even call her name. <laughs> she started kind of, like, whispering in Tadano's ears. And, yeah. If... <laughs> so, yeah, her name, perfect. Now, obviously, like, as I said, I, I, I said this in the previous episode as well. The names are very, um representative of the different characters personalities in the previous episode we met a girl called agari and she like you know the agari show she is a bit uh, a bit what can you say mm, has straight stage fright uh, yeah i think that's basically it's uh, agari show kind of gets scared and uh, like that's why her name is agari and here in this episode we meet two characters again whose names are very representative of their personality yamai and the next girl or guy i'm still not sure what. they called her like they called uh, osana uh, jimmy the gender ambiguous so i think they themselves did not confirm in the anime and the manga i think so yeah what should I call? Should I call Osana a him or a her? Um, I, I'll, I'll do what Tadano is doing. I'll call her, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll use the female pronoun to mention her because Tadano is also doing that. I'll also do that. 
so i'm going to call uh, osana jimmy uh, of her and she unless and until they mention it what her actual gender is in the you know in the uh, in the anime so for now i'll call osana her okay so we made and meet another character osana na osana ni what is osana just a sec let me check out her name uh, osana najimi yeah osana najimi <laughs> which obviously everyone knows osana najimi translates to childhood friend and it's <laughs> it's actually funny that she herself says that <laughs> if everyone is my childhood friend like damn what <laughs> she even gives us a little explanation why that's the case she, she her dad gets transferred most of the time that's why everywhere you know she, she has childhood friends <laughs> wow that that was funny okay uh now here's the thing Tadama says that wait a minute uh, weren't you a, a boy like you know all during the uh, like when we, when we used to study together uh, didn't you wear like boys clothes and <laughs> now why are you wearing a girl's why are you wearing a skirt and she's like oh what are you saying I'm, I've always been a girl and then in, in the later section when like you know it's like you know convenient for her she she says that I'm a boy you know when that guy was confessing she's like I'm a boy <laughs> So I'm I'm guessing this is like kind of like a running gag in this show that no one knows if she is a boy or a girl or something. I don't know. I feel like this is going to be something like that. And uh, I don't know in the manga whether they actually confirm her actual gender or not. But I think this will be kind of like that running joke that yeah, no one knows what gender he he or she is. <laughs> kind of funny. Okay. Now Now for this girl, uh, uh, like, uh, Na Osana Najimi, she has immense communication power, immense. But she also tried to become friends with Komi. Unfortunately, it did not work because Komi, um, yeah, Komi is a bit too high level. You know, her communication uh, problem is a bit too high level, even for Osana Najimi. Uh, Osana. Osana, I'll call her Osana. Like telling her full name is actually <laughs> kind of difficult. Osana Najimi. I'll call her Osana. Okay, it's even a little, little bit difficult for Osana. So yeah, like she gave up basically, and that's why she's like, you know what? No, I won't be able to become friends with her. <laughs> but Tadano is serious, and uh, yeah, now here's one thing that we can see here, which. Uh, I think will be a probably a big plot point in the future episodes and uh, the whole thing of Tadano when you know like uh, Osana said that what did she say that uh, just a sec oh yeah uh, what's the matter do you like her or something and Tadano is like ah no like someone like me is in a different def uh, like you know complete different league uh, very well below Komi-san it's impossible I think this whole thing will become a big plot point in the future i feel like this whole uh, tadano's attitude not attitude but his personality of uh what do you call it mm. the this thing of like you know him thinking that yeah komi is a person of v very like you know like it's way above his league this thing i think this will probably become a plot point in the future episodes not now it won't happen now but in probably in the future episodes uh definitely not in this season i doubt it but probably if i'm sure this will get more seasons in the future probably when tadano and komi you know will become more good friends you know as time goes on this will be will become a thing of him actually thinking that oh like komi is way above my league so yeah oh boy <laughs> Uh, uh, I, I can see it I can see what's going to happen but yeah like what else like you know like I don't think like Tadano like we've already seen him you know, from the first episode he is kind of a character like that and like Komi being a type of like a celebrity in the school will definitely make him 
kind of doubt you know his authenticity and not authenticity but his uh you know his own position with Gomi's position and this this has become a thing in the future I, I i can feel it i might be wrong though but you know like yeah usually this type of thing kind of becomes a problem in the future but we'll see for now like Gomi needs more friends unless and until that happens yeah but okay so <clears throat> And then we see like Osana and Komi kind of going back, all that stuff. Uh, the other two childhood friends come, and this girl, guy suddenly confesses to <laughs> Osana, and this guy suddenly becomes a bit too serious, which, which is obviously something that you know, like he shouldn't have done. He he just like he, like he was drooling and everything. Damn, like <laughs> he could have been arrested at that point. But you know, Komi handled it very well, even though that was not what she was trying to do. She was just trying to give the key back, you know, like oh, it's a problem, isn't it? That guy lost his key. Like, what would he do if he suddenly goes back home and uh, puts his hand in the jacket and he's like, oh my god, where's my key? Like, you know, he'll get into so much problem, he won't be able to get in his house. Yeah, it'll be a mess. So, Komi, like, you know, being the <laughs> Komi being the you know, resp responsible like, you know, person, she just tried to give it back to him. But unfortunately, her communication skill was a little bit under leveled. So <laughs> the guy misinterpreted the whole thing and thought that she was trying to threaten him <laughs> with the key. <laughs> oh lord. And like you dropped this key, you said D I and E. This is excellent. He, he, they thought that she's saying that die. And one thing I'm really, what can I say? I'm quite impressed with is this translation. Like you know, like obviously Japanese and English are very different. But as as far as I could gather from here, uh, wait a minute. Let me just hear what she said at that moment. Uh, just a sec. Uh, Okay. Koryoshi Tayo. Oh, Koroshi Tayo. I think she was probably trying to say something like Korewa. No, no. Something like that. Kore Otoshitandai or something like that, I think. She was trying to say. And that Koroshi, that thing kind of got translated into Korosh, <laughs> Korosh <thai. laughs> something like that. And you know, like that means a die. Like the thing that I was really impressed with is like the translation in both, like, you know, you dropped this and Kore uh, Otostandayo or something like that, you know, both of them kind of like, you know, translated really well. And you know, like the, like both of them have die in it, right? Kore uh, otoshitandayo, korosh, something that, like, you know, and you drop this, D-I-E. Like, that was, that was quite impressive. Like, usually in these type of situations, you know, like, translating it from, like, Japanese, usually kind of, like, you know, uh, like, the meaning kind of gets, uh, what can I say? Like, like, the way it's intended to do, it, it doesn't happen because of translation. But it, it really translated very well in this in this scene at least, and the intended joke, you know, <laughs> was properly expressed here, even with the translation. So <laughs> that was nice. Okay, that was that, and then you know, like Osana kind of sees that, and Osana starts laughing and all, and Osana's like, you know what? Yeah, we are friends. That was that, and then the next scene, like, you know, Osana kind of tries to <laughs> play a little joke here. She's like, ah, you, you bring me this, bring me that, blah, blah, blah. Otherwise, we're not friends. You know, like those, <laughs> those school bullies that extort you out of money and things. You know, like, they're like, they make you your errand boy. That type of, uh, you know, this, this is actually a thing as far as I know, like as far as I've watched in anime, like, you know, like there's like this, you know, there's this whole thing of this hierarchy of like the popular kids, unpopular kids and, the, 
you know like the the people that like you know others bully that this whole hierarchy usually characters who are not that popular and who kind of wants to be friends with the popular kids you know the popular kids who are in that top hierarchy they kind of make them their errand person like you know they say that oh like you there you bring me that bring me that you know uh, if you aren't able to do that we are not friends anymore and the the people they kind of like you know get scared of the prospect of losing that like you know like losing the friendship and losing the high position that hierarchy like you know and they try to cling to that position by doing the errands for them and cling to that them and like you know like they try to do that and like they they kind of like these type of uh, like you know people they try to get validation from being friends with them and that's why the popular kids they kind of abuse that in that way uh, and like we see this in anime a lot of times but obviously like Osan did not like you know was not trying to do that she was just kind of you know kind of joking here as far as I could understand kind of like you know made like you know kind of like, made a joke here <laughs> and <laughs> you know it, it was a little prank in a way you can say it was just making fun of her and you know like just very lightly kind of said that I guess <laughs> Obviously, she did not realize that what's going to happen. And Komi goes to the shop and tries to order it, but is unable to. She still needs more training, you know, obviously. Like, you know, like, she needs more training. <laughs> and the shopkeeper here, I don't know what happens. He, he suddenly started <laughs> remembering his backstory. And he starts saying that, oh, I've been working here for 15 years this that i'm i'm powerful enough to actually telepathically communicate and understand like you know like an esper what the other person is thinking like i'm the best <laughs> oh my god and yeah like I'll, I'll i understand what she's trying to say and he makes a random thing gives it to komi and komi is like yeah i i, I cannot say that this is wrong she just takes it and goes <laughs> goes away you know this this whole scene is painfully familiar to me this whole thing of komi being unable to communicate and say what's wrong i remember i think when i was <laughs> i think this actually happened to a lot of people happens to a lot of people and when i was i, I think i quite young there there was this time i think where a similar thing happened like i tried to ask for something and like you know the person who was taking the orders kind of misunderstood it and brought me a completely different thing and like i was so awkward and unable to like you know i, I was unable to say it and i just took that <laughs> this is painfully familiar yeah damn komi <laughs> a lot of komi's problems are actually our problem like you know like problems that i and i'm sure a lot of people who are watching this have also gone through <laughs> yeah <laughs> And the thing that they actually kind of said in the beginning, you know, like, it's not that they don't want to communicate. They want friends, they want to talk, but they're unable to, you know, that's another thing, which is very painfully familiar to me and a lot of people. I am sure about it. Like, you know, like, <clears throat> like I myself I am that type of a person who usually doesn't talk much with people, but I don't mind when talk, people talk to me. So people actually think that, you know, like, oh, that, like, you know, that guy, he doesn't want to talk, but that's completely not it. People like me, we want to talk, but it's just that we don't. And we usually, you know, like keep quiet. If someone talks to me, we're happy to respond. That's just it. I'm sure I'm like, you know, I know there's a lot of people like this. So yeah, call me and at least I and I'm sure a lot of people who are watching this damn are what can I say our situations are very familiar <laughs> oh boy and then we go back and Najimi is like oh this is not what I wanted and Komi starts crying my god <laughs> and <laughs> even Najimi was like oh my god forgive me like I've 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 sinned like, you know, I've sinned, just forgive me and I, I won't do this again. 
Oh my god. And then Komi was sulking a little bit. That was kind of cute. So yeah. That was it guys. So that was this episode. That was a fantastic episode. A cute little episode. Yeah. Komi made another friend. 98 more friends left. Like I don't know if he's, she's going to make one friend every episode. If that's what happens. Then won't this anime have like 100 episodes? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I doubt that's going to happen. Like every episode making one friend is a bit a, a, quite a difficult job. So I, I'm guessing like for the for these two episodes she made made two friends, and probably there will be episodes where it'll take more than an episode for her to make a friend. So yeah, so that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. This is my reaction to Comic Can't Communicate episode number two. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of komi can't communicate so until then goodbye and have a nice day